So this dude just posted um, on my timeline on Facebook something that I have been screaming from the mountaintops to women that they don't understand it. He said, submissive, respectful women run the show unknowingly. And I've said that a million times myself. A woman's true power is to be completely 100% in her feminine energy. It's a fact. It's a biological fact. Let me explain. Not that the man is a little peon. Not that the man is just, um, you know, weak. But when a man is respected and has a woman that is truly submitted to him because she loves and respects him, he'll move hell in hot water for her. He can't even hear her say, ouch, he busting down them stairs. You okay? You good? Um, I'm not talking about what I think. I'm talking about what I know and what I've, what, what I've lived. Um, there's something that, there's something about respect and submission that brings the best out of a man. It's very true. Men will move heaven and hell for a woman that he respects and for a woman that he knows respects him and for a woman that is truly in her feminine nature. Men are not going to do that for these women that walk around trying to act like men and trying to be masculine. Because if you want to walk around acting like a man and, and you, you think that you're even to a man, then you beat a man. Then you do all those things that you demand men to do. Jump up, protect you, all those type of things, you do it. The best protector, the best provider, the best supporter. And I don't know how to get that through y'all women's heads. Like, I don't know how. And then y'all say that y'all not going to submit to a man that's not qualified. You're not supposed to, baby. For the millionth time, if you choose a pookie, you chose a pookie. Uh, yes. If you choose a pookie and a Ray Ray and a Chad and a Tyrone, that's your fault. Take some accountability. Take some responsibility for your own choices. And there's always signs. There's always signs. But our loneliness and our competitiveness doesn't allow us to walk away when we see those signs because we think we can fix them. We think he gonna change for us. I'm so fine, look at all his exes. Of course he's gonna change for me. And it never happens. It never happens. But a lot of women do think like that. They do. But mm -mm -mm. And let me even tell you this. I've been with a pookie before and even they respond to respect and submission. Even they do. He might not have been on the level of a man who really had it together, but I can honestly say he did his best and he gave his best because that's what my respect and submission did to him. And then I'm going to say this. Ladies, y'all can't pull the wool over my eyes like y'all can the men. I've done it. I've seen it. I've lived it. I'm the queen of exposing the girl code. So let me tell you this. Um, when, and let me tell you this. No, you can't control who or what you attract, but you can't control who or what you entertain, who or what you stay around. So once you see that person's true ways and you stay around, it's all your fault after that. No empathy, no sympathy, period. Grow up. And then another thing too is y'all have to be willing to get your feelings hurt in order to grow, in order to get to the other side, in order to really meet that man that you desire. Not like life is just all about a man, but it like at the end of the day, it's about family, it's about procreating. So for a man, it is kind of about a woman. And for a woman, it is kind of about a man in a sense, after God. But y'all gotta be willing to get y'all feelings hurt. I could not understand for the life of me why I kept attracting pookies. You wanna know why? Cause I was in denial. Pukisha. As dope as I thought I was, as wise as I thought I was, and I was, but I still had Pukisha mindset a little bit. And it hurt my feelings. 
when I had to look at myself and realize that I'm attracting what I am. And then I had to go through getting my feelings hurt. Now, I, 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 you, if you can't brutally be brutally honest with me, I don't even want you around me. You know what I'm saying? So, ladies, for one, I'm going to just leave it with this. The best thing I ever did as far as relationships, as far as trying to date, after, um, well, listening to God and the word of God, that's that should go without saying. But the best thing that I have did was stop listening to other women. Amen, sis. Amen. Because women notoriously give other women bad advice because they want the company. Misery loves company. And a lot of women help other women be single all the time, under, all the time, under this guise of this, this female umbrella. And a lot of women tend to believe what other women say. I just, I just, it, for the life of me, I cannot understand why so many women cannot see that a lot of these women are just haters. A lot of these women don't actually care about their friends. A lot of these women are just completely jealous and they want to ruin their relationships. I just don't understand why so many people, so many women find it so hard to, to understand that, to grasp that. And when you have women like this come out, tell the truth. Oh, I'm sure she's been thrown under the bus a lot. I'm sure she's been called a pick me and this and that and everything else because women like her are rare. The other women dominate. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, I just I just don't understand why it's so hard for women to accept these truths. But one of the real things I could say about that is one of the reasons probably why this happens is because for those women to accept that truth, they would have to accept the truth of who they are as a person. And that's something that a lot of these women are just not willing to do at all. Especially other single women, especially other unmarried women. And let me tell you, it was not easy at times because I found myself often on the island by myself. And I still do. But guess what? I'd rather be in a truthful, on a truthful island than in a delusional one. Not all women are purposely giving you wrong information. A lot of them are delusional and deceived themselves. They were given wrong information, so they're passing it down to you. Listen to your brothers. Listen to your daddy. Listen to your pastor. Listen to your uncle. Listen to a man and be willing to get your feelings hurt. And baby, I mean, that's a great point, because, you know, back in the day, in traditional times, you know, you would have the father, the brother, the uncle, even like the pastor, like she said, that that have known these women since they were kids. They would vet these men because men can spot problem situations, problem traits in other men, just like women can spot that in other women. Right. This is how men were able to say, okay, this is the best one for you. This wasn't, isn't the best one for you. I know you're going to do whatever you want to do. It's your choice, but I'm going to give you my solid opinion. This is my solid um, reaction or my solid uh, diagnosis of this guy, right? And women would respect that because they knew that it came from a man that didn't have any... Um, in, you know any reason to tell them the wrong thing like a father like like a, a man that has daughters he has no vested interest to tell her something wrong because he wants the best from her for her just like her brother or her uncle but see we live in a modern society now where all men are shamed all men are called misogynists you should not listen to any men because all men are just telling you the wrong thing all men just want to control women listen to women and this is what's happening you got a whole bunch of the blind leading the blind and this is a generational thing that goes from one generation to the next one generation to the next and then when you look at the results the results suck but you still have these women doing the same thing because these women don't want to look in the mirror and take stock on who they are as a person they don't want to accept any kind of responsibility for their actions there's only a small percentage of women that do it. And thank God this is a black woman doing this. 
she might be from LA or something like that. She kind of sounds like it, but you know, a lot of women just refuse to listen to men, even the men that have no interest in trying to use them, trying to sleep with them or anything like that, because society keeps telling them, don't listen to men, don't listen to men, even your daddy. Your daddy is from an arcane time. He's from a time thousand years ago. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to your brother. You know, they're just telling you what you want to hear. Don't listen. But listen to your girlfriends. Listen to your thought friends. Listen to your divorce friends. Listen to your friends that have a thousand body count because their opinion is what matters. Don't listen to men. This is where a lot of women are stuck. Okay, I was finna be done, but y'all know I'm kind of long-winded. But let me just say this to you ladies especially you young ladies. Pay attention to what's being said when you're around the ladies, mamas, aunties, grandmas, friends, whatever. Pay attention to those conversations. And if you're able to go around the men in your family or your boyfriend and his friends or whatever, and just peek the, the difference in the conversations. And once I did that, I was like, these women saying all this stuff that they think is pleasing the men or that they think gonna get them or whatever. But when I go around my brothers and them and my friends, they literally laughing at half of it, turned off by the rest. And I figured out at a young age in my teens that women have no idea what men actually want. And it's not even hard to figure out. All they have to do is listen. And that is the biggest problem that we as women have, listening and shutting up. Well, again, they've been taught that they don't have to listen and they've also been taught that they can just constantly say whatever and run their mouth like it's a faucet. And then men are just supposed to handle them. That's pretty much what it is. I say all the time, if you want to know what men think, what men want, what men actually care about, ask men the best men to ask are the ones that have no skin in the game they're trying they're not trying to get anything from you everything that comes out of their mouth is going to be from a concern standpoint because they want everything to be good for you they don't want you to be taken advantage of they don't want you to be used but see a lot of women choose to just listen to women and this is why a lot of them are in the situation that they're in, because they refuse to listen to men. But guess what? They all want men to listen to them. Their opinion and what they want is paramount. It trumps everything. It doesn't matter what men actually truly want. It's all about women, because this is what they've been taught by the women around them and by society. Men's concerns men's points they're all invalid they mean nothing ladies be smart have your own independent thought she gave you some good advice go around men listen to them ask your brothers ask your uncles ask your pastor ask somebody that doesn't have any skin in the game and you will find out what men actually want, what they actually need, and you will be able to identify the men that are not good for you. But if you wanna to continue to just listen to these women and chase these Chads and Tyrones because you think they're so attractive and they're so hot, and you think that you're gonna be the one to change them, you're just gonna keep losing. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.